Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to introduce you to the sum product function in Excel. If you're typical of many of the Excel users that I work with, you probably never used, let alone heard of, the sum product function. So your first question is, why should I use, why should I learn a new function? I like to say there are two reasons. Some product functions can speed up your calculations in Excel, and that certainly is a good thing. Reason number two, using some product, you can find that you can trim the fat from your Excel workbook. You probably don't have to have as many fields to perform intermediary calculations as you think. All right, we're going to apply some product to a question. Our manager has come to us and said, I need to get a quick total for the value of our inventory. So as we look at this scenario, we're going to say, well, I've got the product code over here. I've got the unit cost. I've got the number in stock. I need to add in another field. I need to be able to do an intermediary calculation. I need to multiply by going, give me the unit cost multiplied by the quantity in stock. Next, I'll copy this down through each of the products, and then I'll sum it up. No. No, no. Some product will perform the calculation in one step. Let's see how this works. Equals some product. And now let's use Control A to bring up the function arguments dialog box. So you see array. Oh my God, you probably are scared of stiff. An array is nothing to be scared of. An array simply means that we have multiple cells selected in a range. So here's our first array the values for unit cost. Our second array, and notice that we can have up to 255 of them in Excel 2007, will be the values for in stock. Now it's important that you pay attention over here that all arrays, when we use some product, must have the same dimensions. So you see we've got vertical arrays. We have a vertical array for in stock. It's going down vertically in column C from row 4 through row 14. It matches the shape and the dimensions of the first array in column B for unit cost starting at row 4 going down through row 14. Now we click OK and in one calculation we have the total. So we've used some product and say array number 1 is B4 through B14. And I could have made this even faster if I had applied a name range for the values underneath unit cost. The second array is the uh, values coming from C4 through C14 and I could have made that even faster by creating a name for those values called in stock. Now when you are using a new uh, function, when you're using a new process, I recommend that you have a series of checks and balances. We need to have a way to verify. Now remember earlier when I used the asterisk to say equals uh, B4 asterisk for multiplication C4. What I'm going to do over here is I'm going to use the product function. The product function performs multiplication. So while the sum function provides addition, the product function provides multiplication. So here it's saying, all right, my number one is in this range. So I'm taking five, multiply it by two to give me 10, multiply that by 10, to give me a hundred. All right, let's come over here and instead of using the asterisk, we'll use product equals product. And what I want to do for my first number is I'm just going to pin, uh, point my mouse over there. I'll use the comma and then for my second number, right parentheses and there you go. Now let's copy this down and I've used the sum function. So while I've used the product function to get the multiplication coming across the row, I now use the sum function. But I can save myself these intermediary steps. I can speed up this calculation. I can trim the fat by not having to have in an extra field, an extra column, and get that result quickly 
using some product. So what we've done here with the arrays is we've gone through and we say, all right, in these arrays, perform the multiplication first and then do the addition. And there you've seen how to use the sum product function. Now I've decided to break this lesson up into two parts. So in the next lesson, I'm going to show you some more sophisticated uses of the sum product function. But for right now, I've introduced you to a really great new versatile function, sum product. Speed up your calculations, trim the fat from your Excel workbooks, and I'll see you in the next lesson.